welcome back to Naughty Nerds. I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we're playing... Pokemon. Fire Red. And we just defeated the... Lieutenant Surge. Lieutenant Surge? What gym is this? It's the third gym. Is it got a name? Uh, Vermilion, Vermilion City. Gym. Vermilion City Gym? Yeah. It's named after the city. Uh. Okay, so, we... To make our lives easier, we need to go catch some Pokemon. Not because we are going to use them. Because we need them for... To sacrifice to our other Pokemon. No, because uh, there's an there's an like just like, like bait dogs. No, I was joking. <laughs> that's fucking oh, terrible. I'm just gonna keep beating that drum. <laughs> and he flinched. That's perfect. I haven't caught me a uh, Spiro, so. Oh, for your Pokédex. Oh yeah. So I need at least 15 Pokemon in my Pokédex that I've owned. Um, because there is a uh, there's a just like cut. There's a move called Flash that brightens up dark caves mm -hmm. and we're getting ready to go to a cave that is pitch black huh yeah when i flash women it brightens their day this is how i see it <laughs> you say so <laughs> oh, okay gosh. pokedex we have one we need one more i was watching you watch the fix yet no. on netflix no it's the jimmy carr panel show i can and they were talking about social media and stuff and they're like you know like back in the day you used to have to you know, there had to be some guy who was naked in the trench coat, but now you just get dick pics all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm glad it's something I don't have to worry about. I mean, if you want to send nudes, I'm okay with that. <laughs> but I'm talking to the ladies out there, of course. Or unless you're a really hot guy. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but uh, I don't discriminate. Sure. Actually, I do. No fat chicks. But... Um, <laughs> it's coming from a fat guy. <laughs> yeah, hey, this fat guy is on the way down, buddy. I've got good news for myself. All right, so yeah, so you you had an interesting fact you that that was about like the last episode of Pokemon that we uploaded. I don't remember what that was. What was it's it? When you started your diet. Oh yeah, yeah. So that was like well yeah when it uploaded. So that first like week of September. Yeah. Um, I started diet. I went to a, a YouTube thing. And there's a guy there. He's a pretty cool guy, who was doing this diet. Another guy who had already done it and lost a ton of weight. And so I just started hanging out with them and. Now, whenever I go to these meetups, they kind of become like support groups for fat people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot five, but and then, um, and then a lot bigger in the other side of that. But yeah, I've lost 72 pounds in the last five months. So that's the most I've ever lost in my life. Is it this one? No, it's not this. No, no, I. And I just finished okay, my second 10 day off. fast. Nice. So um, at this rate, if I keep it up, I will be only. 40 pounds from my goal weight yeah. at the end of the summer which is massive for me as you can i'm a massive guy <laughs> okay so if we if we hear this guy talk about his favorite pokemon rapidash rapidash um you know he talks about it it's like oh cool thank you for thank you for hearing me out you can have this he gives us a bike voucher so now we got a bicycle we can go pick up a bicycle in cerulean city oh because he's like, I don't need it anymore because I have a Fero that lets me fly on it because I'm awesome. Oh, <laughs> that's a big, that's a big Spiro. Fero. Oh, Fero. Okay. My bad. Yeah. Fero, um, Fero is a pretty big bird. There's uh, you ever watch those people who go, it's called, um, mag, uh, Shit, magnetic actually, fishing. Hold on. Oh yeah. Where they take magnets on hooks and stuff and they throw them into waterways and just maybe pull up the metal. It's kind of like, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a cool hobby. And you can find like valuable things and cool things doing it. Also, you're helping the environment and pl places where people swim and stuff. Because now they're not stepping on needles or metal. You, know, you can't get glass out, but you can get a lot of other stuff out. And when they go to these like, uh, when I've been, I've watched, I've watched a few of them. And a lot of them, when they're like in areas where there's like a city park or uh, a causeway or some kind, and uh, those cities where they have the bikes that you can ride. Mm -hmm. There are tons of them in there. Yeah. Because someone will steal the bike, ride it, and then I guess eventually you can't steal it and keep it. Like the, it has like, they have like trackers on them. So they just throw them in these causeways. <laughs> and, and then like ponds and stuff like that. So they pull tons of these bikes out. No, and sometimes okay, so you can get lucky do... if you catch. Even, sometimes they're just people's bikes. Like it's funny. Certain neighborhoods you can just tell like, a lot of bikes are stolen here. And they'll be pulling these bikes out. And if they can, they'll call the owner so they can return them. They find guns. They have to call the cops and stuff. But... I've seen some where they found some cool things. Like one guy found like a Civil War sword. Nice. It was like rusted down to like almost just the hilt, but still, it's awesome. And um, uh, 
But sometimes they find some really cool valuable stuff they get to keep or they'll return it and then like Sometimes with these bikes, they're so rusted. They've been there for so long. They're just wasted, but it's really cool a hobby I've kind of thought about getting oh, into it. It was only 10 10 Pokemon either way We got a couple Pokemon for the Pokedex. Here we go So yeah, we go we come talk to this guy because uh and on the map we're back We're back in uh around Pewter City <laughs> Pewter? Yeah, nice uh, cause the Diglett cave, which we just came out of, and we're gonna go back in. Um. Yeah, hold on. Go Paras! Yeah, the D Diglett cave comes out here, which is like... Who down? Is right next to Pewter City. I guess in this world they don't have, uh... You gotta do it again? Yeah. Hedge Clippers? You have to use a Pokemon. Well, so, okay, so I've been playing, um, sadly, as much as I didn't grind on Pokemon, I was playing a, uh, essentially a Pokemon MMO, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is basically this game done in, like, RPG Maker. Oh, yeah, they killed those, you know that, right? No, 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 this one is, like, still going. Oh, I know, but I mean, uh, what I mean is all the stuff that helps you make it, like, to, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo went around and started, like, cease and desist and court orders to shut them all down. Yeah. It's like at this point, it's so old. Just let them have it. Um, that kind of stuff makes me upset. But yeah, I've been, I've been playing that and it's been a lot of fun. Like the people who are going to use that and play that are still going to buy your product. Yeah. Because they're that big of a Pokemon fun. You're not oh, yeah. losing anything. It's not, and it's not identical to Pokemon. It's just like the, the fun aspect and ability of like an MMO. The, with... Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. That there's things about Pokemon I like that's just like not quite enough to keep me interested. Yeah. And I get that. It's not for everyone. Like it's almost there. I can't even tell you what exactly what's missing. Okay. So but I don't no, know. oh, okay. It's higher than my Nidori is what it is because it's a Doug Trio. Hmm. And I'm not gonna get them because as much as oh, you, you can't escape, <laughs> nothing can escape us. We have another chance to try to run, right? Yeah. So what if you dug down now? Uh, essentially, whoever was faster would come up first, and the second one would get hit. Or sorry, the second one would hit the first one. Yeah, so if you would have dug right behind them, you might have hit them when they came up and then get the cycle going. If if he was faster than me, eventually he got, he'd catch up. I'd to get you. hit first, and then I would go underground. Oh, okay. But oh, oh, you're a Pokemon eight, aren't you? Uh, he's bad. He did. Uh, okay, yeah, he's the one that tells you because in the original game they don't tell you where that HM is, the hidden move flash. Oh. Flash! Ah! I need to make sure before I leave Cerulean City. City of us. Didn't we drop a Pokemon in the freaking daycare? I don't know. I can't remember. Let's go check. What is this? This is the tunnel that connects Cerulean City to um, Vermilion City. Did you use that a second ago and I didn't pay attention? No, I, I, I went in it and then I'm like, wait, wait, I need to go back here. Oh, okay. I, I, was like, I don't remember up. that at all. Cerulean City! Because this is the Pokemon daycare. It's a cool little place. Oh. Where you can, you can take your little fur babies, as it were. Uh, You know what? You can raise my Magikarp. Oh, will they level it up for you? Yeah, so for every step you take is one experience point. Ah. Um, this is where you glitch the system and you put a bot on and makes you just walk in circles. Yeah, essentially, that's what just that's leave. what the later Pokemons do is because they're because they're three D modeled. Uh, you could take your three DS and the little joystick. You can like fit a dime underneath it without affecting the joystick. So you jam it in a corner and go to a place that has three D camera rather than over overview camera, and you run in circles. <laughs> uh, they do it to hatch eggs because hey, eggs will uh, eggs nice. eggs eggs will hatch based off of uh, again how many steps that the takes and. It depends on the Pokemon that's in the egg that requires how many steps, and... No. I'm trying to go to the bicycle shop, and I'm going to all the wrong places. There it is. The one with all the bikes. That's the bicycle shop. Yay, it's a bike voucher. Thank you. Here's the bicycle. All right, so then we're going... It'd be kind of cool to live in an area where you can bike. I mean, I guess you can kind of bike, but not really. Like, like we, we live in a city that does not accept it. At I mean, all. if you live downtown, that's the only place. But even then, traffic's still terrible. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna register that to my select button. Like there, are, I mean, I know it, it's dangerous for bicyclists everywhere, but sometimes bicyclists are also douchebags. But um, there's this like, 
Or even like just if I live somewhere, you could walk places. Because like we're built like California, and California, and most of California is built this way. Where unless you're in like a community area, like uh, when I was at, I went to Berkeley, the area, and go to Berkeley, the school, but to that area, and it was kind of like that. You could basically like walk out of your apartment and you go to anywhere. There was like everything you needed was right downstairs. Yeah, that was kind of right, well, right on your first block or whatever. That was kind of cool, and you could really see there's like this bohemian lifestyle everyone was living. And I couldn't handle the hippies and stuff and hipsters, but them hippie dippies. But if I don't know, just to have like a like that kind of community here would be awesome. Like yeah, downtown's the closest place, but it's still kind of scary downtown here. They're 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 gentrifying it slowly. You freaking dick! He paralyzed you. Yeah, he just paralyzed me. Ooh, that sweet, sweet scent. Sweet scent is such a good move uh, in actual Pokemon games because it um. You can force yourself to find a wild Pokemon without actually running around. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who is this we're fighting? It's a random Pokemon trainer. Okay. So to, to, to give like the, uh, to, to lengthen the games a bit, they put Pokemon trainers in the way. So filler. Yeah, it's it really is. But it's also a good way to level up your Pokemon without fighting wild Pokemon consistently. Yeah. Because I believe trainers also have a higher experience multiplier added to them. It's like, you fought a trainer, this trainer is going to give you 1.5 times the normal experience. Gotcha. And I'm still thrashing, so I'm just going to keep going. Wow. Sheesh. It's an effective move, but you have to make sure you kill three Pokemon. <laughs> as long as you kill this next one. Yeah, as long as I kill him, I'm not confused, and, and he wrapped me up. And there it is. It's a great move. Woo. All right, I think that's going to end yes, it is. this episode of Nightly Nerds. As always, I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.